We're still in the lamp room area of Snibston Colliery, and Snibston Colliery is an important colliery historically because it was sunk by George Stevenson in the 1830s, 1833 to 34. But the space we're stood into is even more significant because this is a modern coal mine. There are, there are, this is the only modern coal mine that's preserved in the country. And when I say a modern coal mine, I mean something from the 1960s. This whole area was built as a vast NCB improvement to develop coal mine in the area because this pit was linked to two other collieries, South Leicester and Whittock. And from this space, the whole of the pits could be run uh, from the control room. And what the miner would do when they came into this space, they would come in, collect their, their lamp from the lamp racks, they would get their respirator, which is behind me, they would then go onto the pit top, descend into the colliery, their tallies that told them they were going underground would be sent back here. So the whole of this pit was, was driven from this lamp room. It's a scheduled monument for that reason, because it is so rare today to get something like this the, the space was stood in. And part of the Snibston Heritage Trust's objectives is to reinterpret this space, to allow the public back into it, but most importantly to allow educational groups and schools back, back into it. Because it was open when the museum was here. And obviously with the museum closed, we've got a new park here, a very good new park with playgrounds, more community engagement. But we want to get the visitor back into this space to celebrate and commemorate the mining heritage because miners today are, are, are getting older and older but the families are still there there is still a strong mining heritage and culture to Colville and the area Ibstock, Bagoth and so on and we want to be able to celebrate that community's um, experiences with coal mining but that in itself brings problems. Yeah we have still working with uh, the Simpson Heritage Trust uh, miners who, for, for them, this was their working life. So when they come and they uh, show children, school children around, uh, as they previously showed adults and children around the old museum, um, they were doing it for real. This was, th this was not role play, this was their life. Um, the trouble is, they are getting older and then none of them, no, none of us last forever. So one of the things that the Simpson Heritage Trust want to do is to find new ways to capture those stories, capture those stories for a digital age. We know that some oral history's work has been done over the last 30, 40 years, um, but we want to have those stories now captured and reinterpreted and brought to life for a new generation. And we believe that the, fa the families of the miners in this community, the children, the grandchildren, the great-grandchildren of those mining families will probably want to engage with us on that. Um, as a trust, we're in a good position. The, this site is owned by Leicestershire County Council. County councils are all strapped for cash. Um, they can't always apply for the same grants that trusts can. As Snibston Heritage Trust, we are working in a close partnership with Leicestershire County Council so that we can help by getting hold of grants, perhaps from the Heritage Lottery or the Arts Council or wherever, so that we can capture those stories and get that narrative uh, preserved and then brought back to life uh, in this setting.